नूतानी पश्य मे योग मैश्वर भूत भुन्न च भूतस्थो ममात्मा भूत भावना विष्णु शल वि भूतानी भूत भृन्न च भूत भृन्न चे भूत इट इज शॉर्ट वोवल भूत भृन्न च भूतस्थो मात्मा भूत भावना मात्मा भूत भावना वेरी गुड यू कैन चैंट योर सेल्फ मत्स्थानी भूतानी पश्य मे योग मैश्वर भूत भृन्न च भूत ओ नाम See, is it mam atma mam m a there is a first m a you have the long vowel no it is short mam atma mam atma very good okay mam b all of us will chant yeah. together yeah. yes na cha mat sthani bhutani पश्य मे योग मैश्वर पश्य मे योग भूत भृन्न च भूतस्थो देर आर फोर महाप्राण भूत भूतस्थो मात्मा भूत भावना ओके विष्णु गो हेड विद योर एक्सप्लेनेशन ना नेवर चा एंड मत्स्तनी अबाइड इन मी भूतानी ऑल लिविंग बींग पश्य बिहोल्ड मे my yoga maishwaram divine energy bhuta bhrith sustainer of all living beings na never cha yet bhuta sta dwelling e dwelling in mama my atma self bhuta bhavanah creator of all living beings and yet the living beings do not abide in me we hold the mystery of my divine energy although my i am the creator and the sustainer of all living beings i am not influenced by them or by material nature beyond the two energy he see my shakti 
and Jiva Shakti mentioned in the previous verse, there is a third energy of God. This is called Yoga Maya Shakti, to which the Lord refers as divine energy in this verse. Yoga Maya is a God's all powerful energy, which can make the impossible possible and is responsible for many of the amazing things that we contribute attribute to his personality. For example, God is seated in our hearts, yet we have no perception of him. This is because his divine Yogamaya power keeps his keeps us aloof from him. Similarly, God's God also keeps us himself aloof from the influence of Maya. Maya feels embarrassed to even stand before God. Isn't it a wonder that although God pervades Maya, the material energy, yet he is aloof from it? This is again by the mysterious power of Yoga Maya. If the world will influence God, then when it decays or is destroyed, his nature and personal liberty will also deteriorate. But despite all the modifications in the world, God remains established in his personality. He is in the world and yet untouched by it. Thank you.